As rallies protesting anti-Asian hate sweep the country, all eyes are turning to this deadly shooting spree in Atlanta after a 21-year-old man allegedly shot and killed eight people at three different massage parlors. Most of the victims were Asian women, according to law enforcement. It was painful for me to hear it. Shirley Wang lives in Seminole County. As a Chinese American, she tells me she's recently experienced hate firsthand, targeted at a grocery store pharmacy at the beginning of the pandemic. And he pointed his finger right to my face within inches and said, you are full of propaganda. This is all your fault. Shirley's experience is one of thousands of recent incidents. On Tuesday, the National Coalition Stop AAPI Hate released new data about the rise in hate incidents against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Florida ranked number eight for most hate reports. Nationally, there have been nearly 3,800 hate reports throughout the pandemic, and women are over two times more likely to report incidents. I was really surprised that no one seemed to have come forward to try to come to my aid or anything. The Atlanta suspect, Robert Long, says his motive was his sexual addiction versus a racial motivation, according to police. Authorities said they're still investigating whether the killings were hate crimes. People don't go into places and target on people they didn't feel they could overcome. We don't always believe in standing up and speaking out. And I hope more and more people will be willing to speak out and share our experiences so people no longer can say this is all in your head. This is real and it happens. In Orlando, Marlene Martinez, West 2 News. And according to the mayor of Atlanta, the suspect was also planning on coming to Florida. We reached out to Orlando city officials today and in a statement, the Orlando Police Department said it had not received any notifications from state, regional or federal law enforcement partners that the city of Orlando was a potential target.